track is such a doggy dog world, right? So each shoe company has a certain allotment for uh, the sport. And in order to pay someone else who's coming up, they have to take money from someone else. They're like, there's very rare occurrences where there's new money being added to the pot, right? So if this hot, young, hot shot comes up from college and demands, you know, this certain amount of money, this, the shoe company has to scramble and be like, all right, who can we get this from to give it to this guy, right? So you're, they're almost robbing Peter to pay Paul. And so track athletes make money by, it's almost like survival, like, like, um, is it Darwinism, uh, survival yeah, of the fittest? Uh, you know what I mean? Like you go out into the circuit and you make money by winning races or, or finishing consistently. And, and you know, the more you perform, the more you're going to get paid. So you have control over how much you're going to make to a certain extent because your performances dictate exactly how much you're going to make. And there's such a huge gap between like the top level people and almost like the middle and rest. There's almost no middle range. It's either like you can live <laughs> off the money you make or you're like working another job. This I look at it. You have an athlete, you have uh, an independent contractor, and you have a company. And what I mean by those three layers is that on that starting line, you can have all three. So you can have a, a guy who's just an athlete, just trying to make money to be able to keep his lights on. And he loves what he's doing at this moment in time and he's young. Then you have an independent contractor, somebody who has the ability to make a good living in this business and he can get hot, he's getting second, thirds, maybe you'll win a race here or there. And then you have a guy who's a company, a guy who puts seats in the stands, a guy who meat promoters are calling you to be at their meet because they know if, if they put you on their poster or their advertisement is gonna be success in their pocket and it's gonna trickle down to you.